There, there are negative potential uses of the technologies that we're developing, and these are things that we, we try to communicate and think clearly about up front so that we can minimize those kinds of uses. Now, people's view of what's negative varies. So, for example, uh, there's a lot of interest from the U.S. government and other governments in surveilling people who might be terrorists these days and in giving them the equivalent of a lie detector test without their knowing. So if you could walk up to the counter and we could ask you questions and see your periorbital blood flow or other things changing in your body without even strapping a sensor on you, you wouldn't know that you were being measured and you'd be less likely to try to fool the system and they could maybe do a better job of screening out potential disasters at airports and other public transportation facilities and so forth. So the public generally you know, embraces these things that improve safety uh, and think that might be a good thing. Now that same technology, however, could be used in other ways that I think people would find very problematic. I, I know some of the people who develop it think that uh, what could be wrong with lie detection technology? After all, lies are evil and anything that prevents that must be good. I think back to the story of uh, Corrie Ten Boom. She was a uh, a woman during the Holocaust who was a, a very devout Christian woman and a very devout Christian family who, together with her family, created a way to hide Jewish people in their home to help get them to safety. And as she realized what the Nazi regime was, was doing to Jewish people, they bent over backwards more and more to try to help Jewish people get to safety. This meant putting themselves in jeopardy, such as Nazis showing up and knocking on the door and saying, are there any Jews here, and raids at all hours of the night, and so forth. And she struggled with telling the truth, because as a good Christian woman, she believed she should never tell a lie. And yet, when she knew what they were showing up to do, she knew that there was a greater issue at stake. So she was able to be misleading and deceptive um, when somebody's life was at stake. If, however, they were to show up today with um, this non-contact uh, lie detection technology and see that, in fact, she was hiding something, uh, then there would be a lot uh, more people who would have been casualties of that horrific set of events. So we, we need to see that this technology uh, can, in the hands of, of some people, could be used um, in a protective, good way, and in the hands of some other people could be used for great harm. And these are things we wrestle with. How, how could we develop it so that it could only be used for good intentions versus for bad? How could we develop it in a way maybe that uh, people, it can only be used if a person chooses to share their information as opposed to is having their information extracted from them. In, in our lab, we've made a conscious decision uh, so far not to focus on the technology that extracts information from people without their knowing. Uh, instead, we are focusing on technology that people um, can choose whether or not they want to participate in it. If they choose to participate in it, it's opt-in. They, they choose to put it on. They choose to control it. We usually design it also so they can look like they're using it in a way that other people think they're using it, even if they're not. We, we build in ways that they are truly in control of the technology so that it enables their self-expression as opposed to enabling somebody to extract something from them. Uh, at the same time, there's a fine line there, right? You give somebody a tool for self-expression and have somebody else pointing a gun at them, you know, off screen, right? And it looks like they're using it for self-expression, but they're using it under duress. So there are limits to what we, we can do. Uh, and I think those, are, uh, those limits are very real, and they uh, make us think very carefully about what we do and don't want to design technology to be capable of.